Bamboo Labs 3D printers are known for being quick, but do we actually use them to their full potential? They offer four speeds. They offer silent, which most of us would never use unless we're looking to just keep it a bit quiet, preserve some detail maybe. Standard, which is what 99% of us must be printing on, sport and ludicrous. Today we're going to be finding out whether ludicrous is just a gimmick or actually worth using. So how are we going to be doing this? I'm going to be doing this on this P1S, just so it's the same across all of them. It's calibrated, prints fine normally, but I only ever use standard. We're going to be using Creality Hyper Series PLA. It's the only fast PLA that I have. I'm going to give it the best chance to see if it actually can print at hyper speeds. Have I just been wasting hundreds and hundreds of hours a year not printing any faster? We're going to be printing, obviously we're going to start with a Benchy. We'll start with a calibration cube. We'll print something functional then to see if dimensional accuracy, can it do it? Then we'll print something big and boxy just to see if, say, gridfinity, could that be done at ludicrous speed? Then at the end, we'll just be trying something silly. We'll be going for something more detailed. I don't know if this is going to work, but maybe it will. We're going to be using bamboo standard profile just so we can't say I got involved and broke anything. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing. I've created an Excel sheet. So we've got the Benchy, the XYZ Cube, the Gridfinity, the Headphone Hanger, and the Skull Dice Tower. What I'm going to do is put the estimated time. So it should be the same for all of them, right? Because you're just going to have to start the print. And then once it starts printing, you go to here, you drag it over to what speed setting you want. So I'll show you what we've got. We've got your standard Benchy, standard XYZ Cube. Got a Gridfinity piece. Got a headphone hanger with a couple of different pieces. Normally this goes together absolutely fine. And then we've got the dice tower. So we're going to put this through, see what it says, mark it in the sheet, and then we'll mark the quality rating. You would think silent and standard would be the absolute best quality that Bamboo can provide. Sport, perhaps you're giving up something and ludicrous. Based on what everybody else says, this is nigh on unusable. But let's see. I've never tried it, so let's give it a go. Okay, so I was going to show you all these back to back, but it's just a bench being created. You didn't want to see that four times back to back, so here's them all at once. Obviously, the results aren't surprising. Ludicrous finishes quite a bit quicker than silent. Uh, so the estimated time on the spreadsheet that I'll show you after this, I started, I took the printer's time when the uh, printer started putting filament on the bed. So in most cases, the print actually took longer. Um, so maybe that was just overall time. I wasn't quite sure what the printer was guessing. But either way, Ludicrous finishes first, Silent finishes last. But they all printed. They all printed fine. So I don't think from now on I'm going to do every single one of these prints in every single print profile. I'm just going to try and print Ludicrous for the next few prints. And we'll see how that goes. So Ludicrous finishes at 24 minutes, 8 seconds, compared to the standard 32 minutes. So Ludicrous is 166% faster, I believe. I don't know whether it checks out. I haven't done the math, but it, it seems about right. Obviously, it depends on the type of print, but that's what we're going to be trying here now. So there we have it. As you can see, as we predicted, the estimated times, the actual times. But let's get on to the quality. We're not going to do all of them, like I just said as well. We're just going to try and compare standard to ludicrous. If we can get ludicrous out of it, then we know the others will be fine too. And we'll, then we'll check the quality. So I'll show you the Benchies and then we'll get to the fun stuff. Right, so this was the silent Benchy. Obviously near perfect. The only part is on the bottom, but that was just because I let the purge line get in there. But other than that, it's, it's flawless. You've seen a bamboo printer do a normal Benji before, so that was the standard mode. Again, no, nothing wrong with it at all. These haven't been cleaned up. And this is the sport mode. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. 
looks pretty much identical to the others. And then Ludicrous also having zero issues. So got the easy stuff out of the way, let's go into the more fun prints. So, as you can see, the calibration cube, focus please, uh, printed perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's fully dimensional accurate, zero issues. Bit of yellow on the bottom, but that was just because that was the color I previously printed on that printer. Obviously it didn't purge well. This is a very, very white filament. Zero issues here, all clean on the top and the bottom. You can hear here that it was really hard to keep this print going and not just cancel it. It was grinding, it was scraping, you can see part of it lifting up in the corner. It obviously doesn't like big flat pieces, but I did keep the print going. I thought I'll do a calibration, worst case scenario is I have to change a nozzle afterwards. I'll, for science, I, I kept this one going. Okay, so I think we found the limit for ludicrous mode. This... I actually thought this would go and print fine. You know, flat, square, just quickly going up. It's a shame I, I shouldn't have done it in white, really. I'll show you some better shots of this, but it looks awful. It looks so bad. It was painful to listen to my 3d printer make these noises it's going through a calibration now it's just because i i assume it's knocked everything out of place it was bumpy it was rough so now we know it it cannot do this which is a shame because i thought this would be one of the ones that it actually did i thought this is one of the ones that would go through fine and maybe the last one would be a bit of a challenge but 166 percent cannot be done even with Gridfinity. So you must be thinking this is where we stop. Clearly we found the limit. No. We keep going. Gridfinity can't do something more complex without any flat or many flat surfaces. That could be possible. We're going to keep on going. We're going to find out exactly what ludicrous mode is for other than benches and calibration cubes. That can't be it. So honestly, I thought this video was going to be over as soon as this piece didn't print very well because it, it seemed like a simple piece. But now we've got these pieces and they've turned out so incredibly well, perhaps even better than how they would normally print. It printed in under an hour. Normally this takes like an hour and a half. I'll, I'll find the actual numbers. But... If I put this together, you can see there's zero tolerance issues. This is what this whole test was meant to be, just to see if we would struggle with something that needs a little bit of tolerance. That piece always needs a whack anyway. But look at this. Got ourselves a little headphone clamp. I've been wasting an almost an hour and a half each time that I need to print one of these when I could have just printed it in Ludicrous. So we know no box, no big flat surface. But something like this, which is actually quite complex, that requires a screw. And it, it can be done. 
So this was the first attempt of the skull. Again, big flat piece. Even just doing the first three or four layers, three I think, it, it just didn't work. So what we've done is we did the first, well, the bottom part of it in standard mode. And now we're in ludicrous as soon as it got past that part. Because even then, this is a 10 hour print normally. It says five hours left, so we'll see how this one goes. So I thought I was gonna end this video with ludicrous mode being a gimmick. I thought everything was just gonna end up like this. And like the gridfinity. But here's the standard skull. Obviously nothing wrong with this. But here's the skull that we printed in ludicrous mode. All of the detailed parts came out perfect. There's a little bit of stringing, but keep gonna get rid of that. This isn't the end of the video I thought it would be. Again, here's another detailed piece. I've owned bamboo printers for over two years, never used the ludicrous mode just because I thought it was a gimmick, never touched sport mode, but actually we didn't even try this on sport mode. Maybe that's something I can do just in a TikTok and I'll update everybody after that. But if you have any models, especially things like this or even small pieces, maybe not with the AMS, but things that you probably are wasting this took half of the time it saved me five hours had i just printed this in ludicrous mode in the first place we're gonna have a lot of these to print soon and actually it's gonna halve our print time so even if you don't have a bamboo printer say you have a elegu centauri carbon or any other printers that have been made basically in the last two years they all have some sort of faster mode maybe give it a go don't waste hundreds thousands of hours over the years of your life they don't all end up like this. Let me know if you have any more tips or anything else you want me to try, and I'll do it in the next video. If you're still here, maybe you'd consider supporting my Patreon. We upload at least two models every single month, and we also try and upload our YouTube videos early, and if they're not early, you'll also get them without any ads or any sponsors for, you know, if and when that happens. Go check it out. We upload unique designs, a lot of original stuff. There are tiers where you can either just download all the models or sell your own. Go check it out. Links in the description.